to the show that keeps you informed about everything happening in Kaboom City, The New Things Today with Buck and Cliff. Greetings, Kaboom fans! We start with the news that startled all the habitants of Kaboom. We connect live with our reporter to know if the water in the city is in danger. Shakespeare here, reporting from the city tent that brings water to all the city. This morning, the villain team Double Acid threatened to poison the water in the city. We speak with Captain Justice, head of the police department. The threat was serious if these villains managed to poison the water. The whole city would be thrown into chaos. When we reached the scene, Count Garlic was poisoning one of the deposits by bathing in it and making all the water taste like garlic. And even worse, he was bathing without swimming trunks. Hopefully they weren't bathing in the deposits of Kaboom City, but on the deposits for Preston Island, the high security jail for villains. Uh, the water tastes like garlic! This is disgusting! If I put my hands on whoever did this, they're gonna pay! And this is precisely the prison where these ruffians are going to be thrown into. <laughs> you heard it, folks. The city will be able to drink happily again. Back to you, Buck. In other news, the highly anticipated movie Powerful Super Vitamins is premiering. The touching tale of a kid taking care of his sick grandpa. Let's hear the opinion of the public. It was frightening. It's a horror film. The grandparent has a cult, and the grandson takes care of him by making him a, a, an orange juice. <laughs> yeah, it didn't look that frightening to me either. We're connecting now with the gig of the Heroes Rock Band. Let's see how their new member and lead singer, Wonder C, is doing. has a very unmistakable way of singing. What? You wanna throw a question to our public? Uh, go ahead, Clipped. You heard it, folks. What object do you think Enigma actually is? A hat? A cape? An interrogation? We'll read all your answers. Energetic regards! Welcome to the program that keeps you informed about everything that happens in Kaboom City! The New Things Today with Buck and Clip! Hello, Kaboom fans! Attention, because today we have with us the great silver hero called Frido! Hi, Kaboom fans! Let's begin our interview with the big question. We want to know how the Hero Rebellion is going and if they are going to take the city from the villains. It's going to be difficult, but... One moment! It seems that something serious has just happened. Let's talk with our reporter. Shakespeare reporting from the central bank of Kaboom City. We've been informed that the villain team Dark Cleaners has forcefully burst into the bank. Their plan was simple but evil. They scrubbed the whole floor of the bank, leaving it wet. Now the superheroes won't be able to enter until... They've been detained already! Really? How did they do it? We entered stepping on the wet floor and leaving it completely dirty. But then now the bank's all filthy because of you? Yes, but don't worry. We will talk with the judge so that part of the sentence for those villains is scrubbing the floor again and leaving it totally clean and gleaming. <laughs> no! Well, the superheroes of the city stop the forces of evil again. But let's continue with our interview to Colt Frito. What did you think about this frustrated robbery? Well, it's obvious that... Mimi, Mimi! You're right, Clipped! We already have the winners of the winter tournament! We regret to inform you that the winners of the snowball throw were villains, the Black Eyes team! <laughs> the good news is that, since they were the winners, they received the Great Cup trophy from the first prize! And the cup arrested them for dirty play! <laughs> 
was a nice twist, right, Goldfrido? Yes, but you're not letting me. I'm sorry to interrupt you once more. <laughs> Clip wants to ask a question to our listeners. Me, 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 me. You heard him. Run Run is good or bad? On the one side, it's Mr. King's pet, but it's also adorable and it has white eyes. What do you think, Kaboom fans? Run Run is good or bad? We will read all your answers! Goldfrido, we've reached the end of the program and we weren't able to talk much. Would you like to come to another program? <laughs> uh, <laughs> energetic greetings! start with some breaking news. The heroes have thwarted an evil plan by Racer, leader of the Sunrise Bandits. Let's go to our reporter in the field. Shakespeare here, reporting from the city center, where in the end, Racer's evil plan of freezing the whole city has failed. The truth is, despite his great efforts, he's barely been able to lower the city's temperature by four degrees. An epic fail. Actually, it looks like the city has barely noticed the evil plan to destroy it. Tell us, have you noticed anything strange? Truth be told, it's a shame because it was cooler outside. It was like the streets had air conditioning. It was quite pleasant. Here with us also is Flamespark, the hero who captured the evil racer. So Flamespark, tell us, how did you manage to discover the villain's plan? Did you use your famous detective abilities? Oh, not at all. <laughs> I noticed something was off because uh, I couldn't light my flame and <laughs> I felt kind of sick. Then I looked up and saw Racer on top of the building. He was concentrating so hard that I thought he must have been doing something evil. He was so exhausted that he surrendered without any resistance at all. Yes, please, I can't do this anymore. Take me to jail. This is exhausting. Being a villain is so hard. It was <coughs> very easy, but I get cold easily. <laughs> I'm going to get into bed with some warm soup to try to get better. Thank you, Flimspark. That's all here. Back to you in the studio. Thank you, Shakespeare. Now that you mention it, I also had to bundle up this morning, but good always triumphs. Me, 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 me. That's right, Clipped. Last night, the winner of the third edition of Super Zing's Master Chef was finally announced. The winner of this edition was Jean Ban Chef, who triumphed with his dish, caramelized broccoli and pear ice cream with a touch of dark chocolate. However, there has been some controversy. Rick Rotten, one of the contestants, has sued the show because of what he considers an unfair vote of the winner. What a fraud! These judges has no idea. Van Chef doesn't even know how to choose the ingredients. His fruit was fresh. Disgusting. It looks so shiny and healthy. Blah, blah. Whatever there's rotten meat and the scent of rotten eggs, broccoli shouldn't stand a chance. Me, 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 me. Indeed, Clipped. I wouldn't accept an invitation to eat at Rotten's place either. But now let's move on to cultural news. For the first time, a hero and a villain have written a book together. They're presenting it right now in Kaboom City Central Bookstore. They have come to present their new book, Driving a Blaster Jet Safely is Easy If You Know How. Very good. My first question is, what would be the most important rule of safety? The one we should all follow? Uh, hi, Connie. That's an easy one. Obviously, traffic signals must be respected. I'm afraid I must disagree, my friend. The most important is to wear a helmet. <laughs> I beg to defer, my esteemed colleague. The most important are traffic signals. <laughs> Not at all. Helmets save lives. Well, maybe we should move on to another question. I said signals! Helmet! Maybe we should all just calm down. Stop! Yield! Parking forbidden! Helmet! 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 Speed limit! Uh, well, 
it seems that the Kaboom City Police have just arrived to the bookstore. Looks like things are getting tricky. Well, this is the end of our program. An energetic... Right, Clipped. I almost forgot. It's question time. All yours, Clip. Well, that couldn't be clearer. If you were a super thing, what would you choose to be? Hero or villain? What would you pick, Kevin fans? Heroes or villains? We'll read all your responses. An energetic goodbye! <laughs>
Making pancakes, hundreds of pancakes, millions of pancakes. <laughs> Oof. Me, me. What? Our public is asking about Kid Fury? All right, connecting with Kid Fury's secret hideout. Wanna know what am I doing in my house? Well, dancing non-stop! <laughs> Here ends the show, energetic greetings. Stay at home with the Super Zings.